First one, the boundary condition would be at solid fluid interface. This one means x equal to what? Thickness here is delta. So this means that at x equal to delta, velocity vz equal to what? Zero. Simply because the solid does not move. So therefore, liquid at that interface has zero velocity as well. Okay? So apply that you get zero equal to minus rho g cosine beta divided by mu delta square over two plus c2 so you will get c2 equal to rho g delta square cosine beta over two mu. All right. So then you can bring C two plug it back into equation 2. If you do so, you see that rho g cosine beta and mu, two mu, are common, common term. So you can take it out. And this one is positive, that one is negative, so I'm going to bring this one f first. Right? And this form is correct, but it's not, it's not pretty. I like to make it a little bit prettier. So in order to do so, if you look into the textbook, they would like everything to be in dimensionless form, the form without unit, okay? You can do so by taking delta square out. This one become one, and then x over delta square. This term is more preferred. Why? Because this term has no unit. We call this one dimensionless. All right. Now you can calculate velocity at any point in our system and you will see that velocity would take would be maximum at what at which position if x is zero then velocity is maximum this term would transfer into velocity maximum right because at x equal to zero is maximum here. So you can write down Vc equal to Vmax 1 minus x over delta squared. If you write down velocity profile, this is velocity profile. An equation would give you If x is zero, which is this point, 
velocity is maximum and this velocity is going down in z direction so it's go down like this this is v z maximum right at x equal to delta this ratio become one everything turns to be zero so at x equal to delta here we z equal to zero along the way the profile is parabolic because this one is x squared so it's parabolic does it look this way or look that way that way <laughs> right it looks that way okay this is parabolic velocity profile and that's is one of the answer that you see in the examination problem. The first, first question should always ask, write down velocity profile. This is the answer, okay? There's a little bit more to the problem. Once you obtain velocity profile, then you can also get something else, some other information. For example, you can calculate average velocity. Average velocity. By definition, uh, if I write down three dimensionally, In order to, to find average velocity, you need to integrate velocity all over the cross-section area. Because different position would give you different um, velocity. So in order to find the average one, you need to integrate all the velocity across this area and then divide it by the area. Can you integrate the velocity around this red shape object? This comes from calculus 2, I believe, which perhaps you forgot already. According to the cal calculus, you need to integrate it twice, right? You integrate, you integrate it again. The first one, you integrate velocity with respect to what? This is x. This is y, this is z. You integrate twice. The first one with respect to what? X. The second one is y. So the limit of the integration would come from x equal to zero, zero to delta. delta. And y from 0 to w. Okay? This is the integration of velocity across the area. Divided by the area. Of course, you know the area, the cross-section area is this blue area. Would be w delta. But by definition, it's basically integration 
dx dy from 0 to delta, 0 to w. You get w delta out of it. Okay? So then you bring equation of this one. Of course, everything in, in here would be constant. Rho g delta co cosine beta mu are constant. So you can treat the whole constant to be maximum. Don't worry about that. So basically, it's the integration of this equation. Plug it in here, integrate it twice, which is a piece of cake for you guys. Right? And at the end, you get 2 over 3 Vz maximum. I'm sure you can do it by yourself. I'm so sure. Then, once you obtain the average velocity, I mean, by definition,